Come together with the faces again. Just a little closer. Beautiful. Yes. <clears throat> Good. Good. Yes. In today's digital Good age, job. you can electronically adjust your camera for the various lighting conditions you may find yourself in. There are two types of light, daylight or outdoor, and incandescent or indoor. Light is measured in degrees Kelvin. Daylight is measured at 5400 degrees Kelvin, and incandescent light or indoor light is measured at 3200 degrees Kelvin. Now this may seem way too technical, so when it comes right down to it, in the beginning all you need to know is blue light equals daylight, which is colder, and orange light equals interior light, which is warmer. Have a look at these frames that demonstrate the difference in light temperatures. We've given examples for both exterior and interior. The most important thing to remember is that your camera will automatically balance for the most prominent light source in your frame. An interior shot will be 3200 or warm, and your exterior shot will be 5400 or cold. This can also change with the time of day, but if you think about it, it makes sense. As the sun goes down, so does its intensity. The nice orange light you get at sunset or sunrise. This is called magic hour. So the white balance of your camera adjusts the sensor to the most dominant light source. So the colors on your camera match what you see with the naked eye. This can be achieved by manually setting your white balance or using the auto white balance. I know that we said you should use the manual setting whenever you can to get the most control over your shot but this can be an exception. You are most likely still trying to figure out the harmony of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. So in the beginning, it's okay to use the auto white balance setting, as it is actually pretty accurate when the camera adjusts it for you. That said, once you have become more comfortable with your new camera and have practiced, 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 you can try manually adjusting your white balance to see how it affects your picture.